Well, g'day there guys, Mr. Oz Adventure here and I'm here to tell you today just how stupid I have been. That's right, I have been an idiot, I have done something really, really dumb, or to be more precise, I have not done something very, very important which makes me stupid. That's right, stupid as in a beer short of a six pack and a sandwich short of a picnic, all rolled together in one dumb bundle. So what did I do? I'll tell you about that soon. But first, I want to tell you about what I'm up to today. I'm off to get my forklift license. I'm going to do a course. It's a four day course. Today is day one. And uh, by the end of the course, after the four days, I should have my forklift license. And then I was thinking about Maybe I could do some forklift vlogging around the warehouse at work. Would that be interesting? You reckon you guys would like that or would that be just stupid? I don't know. Part of me thinks it would be stupid and the other part thinks, yeah, it might be interesting. So, um, yeah, I might just test the water we want anyway. And, but yeah, let me know what you think. So back to my stupidity. What did I do? Or what did I forget to do? I forgot to pay. I somehow missed out on paying my car registration. My work van, my 2008 Toyota Hi-Ace van that I use for work, that is owned by our business. I missed out on paying the registration for it and it ran out six months ago. It ran out at the end of June and I've been driving it all this time, including my recent 5,300 kilometer round trip to Melbourne all over the place without any registration. So I've probably done 15,000 kilometers maybe, I don't know. 12, 15,000 kilometers over the last six months, just at a guess. All without registration, which effectively means that I had no insurance. So if anything at all happened, I was totally screwed. If I had have had an accident, it, it might've been the end of our business. I wouldn't have been able to pay it. It would have been in court, would have been huge fines and uh, all the debt would have been incurred by me. If I had killed someone or hurt someone, I would have been um, totally, totally, totally screwed. So that was just massively stupid. So I can hear you asking on the other side of the computer. I can hear you yelling at me actually. How the hell did you do that, you dickhead? I ask myself the same question because when I think of people driving around unregistered cars, I think of uh, you, you low life sort of, you know, bogan redneck people that don't really give a shit or young kids that are just stupid doing stupid things not someone who's supposedly a bit older and a bit more mature and a bit more respectable like I consider myself to be so we moved house a couple of times over the last couple of years and because the vehicles in the business name it didn't get picked up in the mail redirection obviously and um, <clears throat> I must have just missed it thinking oh it's registered to um the business address because we work and live in two separate locations so i really don't know what happened there or what my thoughts were at the time or it, i think it just totally skipped my mind completely i only found out about it because um i was cleaning all the bugs off the windscreen after my trip and went oh hang on this registration label says it runs out like six months ago and I know we don't have to have registration labels on the windscreen anymore and I thought hmm maybe I did pay it and just forgot to take off the old label I don't know I better check this out when I get back home and yeah I uh, got back home and uh, got caught up with work and then I was uh, I've had a little bit of sickness a bit of a fever due to uh, having an, an infected tooth so that, that put me out of action when it came to thinking logically for a few days and as soon as I got back to work and and I came back to my mind and I thought of it and went, oh, I better check that out. So I go through my filing cabinet, I can't find any registration paperwork. I think, shit, shit, no, surely not. So I go online and I check it out online and they say, yes, vehicle currently unregistered. And I'm going, no! So because it's been unregistered for more than three months, I have to create a completely new registration for it. I have to get a safety certificate so I have to get someone to come out and check over the vehicle, make sure it's safe. If there's anything it needs, then I have to pay for that to be done. 
and then I have to go and re-register it again and pay for new number plates on the car because they won't re-register it with the old plates when it's been out of registration for more than three months. Just a total pain in the ass. <sighs> oh well. One of those things. Just have to deal with it and get it done. I'm just so, so bloody lucky that nothing happened. If I had have had any accident at all, I was screwed. Oh, just, I just can't believe that I did that for so long and nothing happened. Anyway, if you've done anything like that or anything equally as stupid in a different way, a different manner, let me know. I'd love to know that I'm not the only stupid person out there. So come join me in stupid land. It's awesome fun. Always an adventure. See you later, guys. Enjoy.